friends and welcome back to our little Oregon homestead. Today I'm out in what will eventually be one day my cottage garden. It still seems like a giant mess now and a lot that we have to do but it's slowly surely getting to the point where I feel like it's a garden space for me. So today I'm gonna be planting a ton of garlic and Initially, I was a little, I don't know, apprehensive about trying to get in a ton of garlic right now for a couple reasons. One, garlic takes a long time to grow. So if I plant it um, in the fall, it's going to be ready close to next summer, which just seems like forever away. And two, I wasn't quite sure what all we would be able to use it for. We don't have a good storage system planned out yet, so I wasn't really quite sure what we would be end up doing with the excess because I have a pretty good space um, that I have planned to, to plant some in. But as I kind of was mulling it over, thinking of what else I'd want to do with that space, nothing really came to mind. And I kind of realized that this whole cottage garden this whole property has really been about planning for the future. It's not really trying to get everything in right this moment. It's not really about trying to have everything set up right now. Because um, one, we don't have the time for that. Two, we don't have the funds for that. And three, it's a lot of work to do and try to get everything done all at once just isn't feasible for us. So thinking it over, while I don't have a set plan of what I would end up doing with all the excess garlic, I know that it can be used. So trying to figure that out now isn't necessarily my biggest concern because I kind of feel like I've been given the space. God gave me the space to plant it. So I'm going to plant it. And as far as what I'll end up doing next um, summer when it's ready to harvest, I don't know, but I know the plan will come and whether it's just storing it for us as much as we can whether it's giving it to friends and family somehow being able to share it with their community or even if it's in a different form that i haven't really thought of i mean maybe we do garlic powder maybe we we use it in another way and same with some onions that i'm going to put in Maybe it's not super clear to me how that's gonna look yet, but there's so many options that I know if I'm supposed to be planting it, if it's the space I have right now that I can use, I know it, when it does come time to harvest, it's gonna get used somehow, either by us, somebody else, it's gonna get used, it's not gonna go to waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant it because I don't have any other big fall garden plans right now. Everything that we want, um, I'm slowly getting in. I'm doing some succession planting, planting with some of um, the other crops like radishes, spinach, kale, um, broccoli, cabbage, that kind of stuff. But I still have a pretty good area to work with. So I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna work with it, and I'm gonna just rely on the fact that I know God has a plan for it. And I can't wait to see what it is because it's gonna be a surprise for me too. But, um, so the other part to that is also kind of how I've been feeling about this whole property it, itself. Um, like I've mentioned, we don't really have a full out plan. We have some ideas here and there of how we want to use it, but it's not a set full plan yet. So I'm just kind of thinking of the same way. I kind of feel like my garden is a much smaller scale of what this whole property will be. We have ideas, we have things that we, you know, might end up working out, but we don't have a full plan yet. And we're just kind of doing the next right thing and putting in the next step of work that we can to hopefully one day make it what it's supposed to be. So that's what my thought is going into it. I'm going to do some garlic planting this morning. I'm going to do as much as I can and just know that it's going to be beneficial to us, to anyone, to everyone, <laughs> somehow, some way. So. Um, I did want to take a minute to kind of show you. We did this past week get to uh, get to actually um, perimeter out where my cottage garden is going to be. And really from here, from this corner where we're at now, all the way to where the beyond the big stump back there to where my first row of garden beds are is going to be my entire cottage garden. We're going to put a fence um, for a perimeter out here and we're going to start kind of building it from the out in. 
garden. We have originally had thought to just put a small fence around where my garden beds are now, but after kind of working in it some, one, I need to keep animals out like right now because I have stuff coming in and animals are getting to it and I need to make sure to keep them out. And then two, we already have the space mapped out. So again, kind of going back to the thought that it's not something that we can use right now, but it's going to be useful in the future. So going ahead and putting the full perimeter fence in now makes sense because we're, we already know this is the area that we're going to use for my cottage garden. And it wouldn't make sense to have to take down a smaller scale fence later just to put up another larger area, area of fence later. So we're just going to get it all put in now and still work inside the space i'm um, getting it cleaned up getting it ready to for more garden beds trees flowers whatever it may be um, but we're going to go ahead and perimeter out and just have that set plan ready to go i want to eventually at some point put you know like make it beautiful put a nice little picket fence around it do some kind of arches um do some kind of um vining plants whether it's grapes or or vining roses something pretty something to make it just a lovely space to be in but that's where we're at right now so all right enough talking i'm gonna get some garlic planted and i'm gonna bring you guys along so you can kind of see what that looks like for me with garlic really you're just gonna be digging down deep it's gonna be growing for a long time so you're gonna start it down pretty low in our area i'm in zone 8b i'm going to start it about four to six inches um of, of underground and just cover it up make sure it's nice and moist throughout the winter which isn't a problem here in Oregon we actually had our first um, really good rain last night and just the whole area just feels refreshing and clean and beautiful and I know I'm probably not gonna be saying that two months from now when it's been raining for eight consistent weeks but right now it was just super refreshing and I'm just really enjoying being out here right now sun's coming out the clouds are just beautiful they're the perfect fluffy gray clouds and it's just a great space to be in right now so just let Oregon do its thing with my garlic let it grow and develop for the next nine months and then next summer when I bring you guys back to harvest we're gonna we're gonna talk about this video and be like yes it was a long time but it was so worth it and we're gonna see what we can do with the garlic all right guys let's get to some planting hey friends so I got interrupted last week I came out to plant my garlic did my video and I didn't even get to actually plant my garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. It's actually pretty perfect because it ended up raining a lot over the weekend and now I have perfect blue skies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my garlic planted today. The soil's already super wet from it raining the past few days, so I am pretty set to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up digging a trench about four inches deep and I'll stick my garlic cloves in there, cover them back up, and I will just continue to water it throughout the next nine months and be ready for summer when it's ready to harvest. So let's get that done now. I heard you say You found the story All tucked away of our day-to-day -day routine in the corner of our minds we're not in blue we're not in mourning to raise the truth it takes more than Day that passes on 
right friends so that was it that was planting garlic that's all the clothes i had today so i'll probably end up getting a little bit more before it gets too cold i'll get some more into the ground probably cover at least half of this uh, row of garden bed that i have and we will have just an abundance of wonderful garlic to use next summer can't wait to get there but i'm excited for this nurturing and growing process too thanks for joining me today don't forget to like and subscribe to catch more planting, more gardening, and more homestead fun. Thanks guys! Mm -hmm.